idea which we plan in cases like this. So I focused more and I found that traumatic conclusion in these cases led to flaring of upper incisors that does not kind of withstand the abuser forces on this team. And so, attachment loss can result in pathological tooth migration, particularly when the soft tissues are unfavorable and the abuser loose are high. Tooth movement can occur and particularly affect the incisors. Include some movements like tapping, rotation, over eruption, extrusion, and spacing, which is referred by the topics at a glance at page 93. So I focused more and I started to take the chance. Which it should be a format that we will start periodontal therapy, but not periodontal therapy as a grafting, like a preparation for complex, like to correct the hygiene, to improve the hygiene more for the patient. And this, I discussed perio ortho or ortho perio. In cases like this, I improve the hygiene. I will start with the treatment, and after finishing and space closure, I will re-evaluate the case if we are needing in the periodontal therapy or grafting, or it's already done. So, first of all, improve the oral hygiene, and do orthodontic therapy, then decide the need for periodontal therapy. Let's use the ortho power to close these spaces. I discussed with the patient the space closure for lower, lower central incisor in the left side. So, my treatment plan before the beginning, leveling and alignment, starting with 12 night tie wire to reaching 16 by 22 night tie wire, power chain to close the spaces with stainless steel wire, upper lower space closure without implant storing for the mid central, and the patient should accept the midline that will happen in the lower arch, because we will close all the spaces in the lower without implant placement. If the patient will accept the treatment, I start. There is some important tricks to treat the case with like perio or bone absorption or session. The first step, which is the plaque, is less attentive while using mini brackets. So you should use mini brackets in cases like this. And you should use bonded tubes instead of pads, and it's very important, to decrease any contact with the genital. Also, you should remove removal of excess composite, so you should use using magnification. If they're loops or microscopes, it's very important in cases like this to remove all excess composites and to attach the packs directly to the teeth without any more composites. And the fourth thing that you should follow is avoid the stomach molecules, as you can. Okay, so now let's start the treatment. I start the leveling, the alignment, and this is phase fusion from first molar to first molar, from second molar to second molar to close all the spaces. And you should focus on using light forces and be affected by the other diseases are more likely to play, more easy to play. And light forces that are still affected by the disease are more likely to death. And focus on the center of tooth resistance. As in this case, the center of tooth resistance moves irritably with more bone loss. So there is a risk of risk of food absorption that we enter due to a root induced surface area. Put into your mind and start the case treatment. I start to close all the spaces. And after I close the spaces, I reevaluate the case. I reevaluate the gingiva in lower central area. Every technique will have its advantage and its drawbacks. This is after intruding the lower incisors inside the bone and after correcting the gingiva level at the end of treatment. More intrusion, so more bone, so crown rotation will be affected to be better. And this is a pre operative tool for this kind of cases. And this is the pre post operative for this patient. So this is the first line of treatment as helpful for periodontists. Now, we will move to the third part of treatment, the third part of our lecture today, which is the periodontist, periodontics as an adjunct for orthodontic therapy. First, for a high level of freedom attachment. Also, perio can help the orthodontist enforce interruption in media and palatal in back and teeth Circumferential, supercrystal fibrotomy in some cases, like in rotation cases, to decrease the relapse, about like 30% decreasing the relapse in rotation by CSF or C2 per session. The fourth thing that we will focus today is treatment of gingiva invagination after orthotic space fusion has happened. This is start with the first point. The first point was patient having a thick liver freedom. Thick liver freedom patient came to the clinic with a diastema and sometimes thick liver freedom without the diastema. So you should combine orthotic treatment 
Vendolic treatment and orthodontic treatment. When you start phrenectomy and when you start orthodontic treatment, there is a fence, many schools. Some prefer to remove the film before the start of treatment, some prefer to remove the film after space closure and still one millimeter exists between two surgery incisors. And in most of the cases, I follow this school. And some delay the phrenectomy after removing, but I follow the middle school. Here is after the space closure. And now the periodontist is intervening to remove the thick area free enough to achieve more is that result for the patient. In case like this, a simple procedure, a GP dentist can do this kind of face, this kind of vitamin. After inspiring the patient, I prefer to inspire the bite patient from the legal approach. Will be this tense for the patient. After inspiring the legal surface, wait like one minute and then inspire the bite patient from the legal approach. Now it's time to do phrenectomy. You can use any type of phrenectomy by laser, by electrocardiogram, or by scalp or tool. At the same day, if you still have space, you can put the chain. So the healing way of care after space closure or at the same time there is no need of space closure. The formal tissue will help and venture at this time of case and will be clean later. Don't forget to move the interdental bar and also to remove the lateral bar. And it may be better if we still have like half to one centimeter space between two center incisors when you are using this kind of surgery. after healing process. So, the periodontist can help the orthodontist in cases like this to remove thick labia frenum during the orthodontic treatment to decrease the relapse and to be in more stable cases. Periodontist as a help for orthodontic treatment also includes force eruption in the Indian and parietal impacted teeth. Impacted teeth, we can use either open or closed traction techniques. Periodontist should choose in between them, according to the situation, and he should have his skills and knowledge to avoid any loss of attachment that may lead to long tender crown. Now, in the case of the ortho and surgery, you have to know all the rules that you have to use in the surgery so that you can help you with Now, if you have a periodontist or surgeon so that you can help you with the exposure, you have to use the eight tricks that you need so that you can achieve the ideal traction without harmful for you. In this type of patient, this patient came to the clinic in 2015. He complained about not erupting our two central incisors, and at the same time, two upper laterals start to erupt. And this is a sign for a back of upper central incisor. Story began with an erupted upper central incisor for eight years with patient. And after diagnosing the patient, the teeth was appearing in the back eruption of the two central incisors. It is too impacted the and at the same time, we have two types of silver number here, which is a common type that preventing the two, two central incisors from erupting into our. It's a tumor collected silver number type, which is called a very cheap silver number. And this is a common type that leads to impact upper central incisors. This type of tumor collected teeth often occurs in birds. So you will have in this case two impacted centers, the only one. I am the two sober numbers and I wait more till July 2018. The patient came back at 11 years 